right guys, what's up, how's it going? We're back and welcome to the sand dunes. We are gonna be exploring. I've never been here, I'm super excited and hopefully I can give you guys a little bit of history and let you know things I found and things to know if you come here. And it should be really good and yeah, I'm just super excited to be here. So let's jump into it. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff and um, ring that notification bell. But let's just get into it because I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, just so uh, you know, popping in wherever I put this. Uh, today is this guy's birthday. <laughs> right here, right here. Oh man. Happy birthday. That, that's why we're doing all this stuff. So, you know, leave a happy birthday in the comments. struggle to climb just like any other sand anything we're attempting to climb to the top right now which takes like two hours it said yeah it's probably been about 40 minutes yeah it's been about 40 minutes since we started climbing and that's where we started and that's where we're going so the struggle is definitely real but we've been having fun already taking some pictures right now so if you want to see pictures uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram and we're gonna keep climbing and get into some stuff and tell you some facts in a couple minutes. Giant bowl right there. He went down on his sandboard. The struggle is real. How you doing? Okay, it just took us 15 minutes to get from that little top part there to here, which kind of looks far in the screen, but it's really, really not that far. So, um, it's great sand dunes going to the top, not for the faint of heart. Are you sure? <laughs> but still really, really worth it and totally fun. Okay, as you guys can tell, the clouds are rolling over is obviously changing the light on the sand but also over here right here where the sand is different colors and down here there's different types of sand here and it's magnetic and it can interfere with compasses and it does a whole bunch of different stuff so that's why it's different colors on top of the clouds rolling through and I just thought that was really cool because I never thought about sand redirecting compasses but some of it's definitely magnetic and if you ever get lost in the desert, don't rely on a compass. Or at least if you ever get lost in uh, the sand dunes here. Your compass probably won't work. <laughs> What I think is the final beast, we're climbing up it to get up there. Uh, another thing about the dunes, endless amounts of sand in your shoe. Yes. Oh, man. Stopped a couple times to empty those out already. <laughs> Top of the dunes. We made it. Yes, there it is. Yay! We did it. Yay. Excited? Yes. <laughs> Real quick on how the sand dunes formed. Years and years and years and years ago, there were lakes here and they all dried up. And with the storm winds that come over these mountains right behind me, and then the winds from the plains in front of me, it collected. Is that the word I'm looking for? It collected all of the sand into the sand dunes and they're never gonna go anywhere because the wind keeps blowing that way. So they're mega huge, they're super cool. They're very deceiving, but totally worth it to hike to the top of this. We good. You ready? I'm so ready.
gazing or watching the moon rise or watching the sun rise I wish we were staying longer, but one day I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do this at night. But just good information for you if you plan on staying a long weekend, if you travel very far. Tyler had an empty dish. Shoes the whole time. First time. I got sand from the top, sand from the bottom. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, because I just said something to somebody, I'm gonna let you guys know. Please don't bring your dogs here without putting socks or some kind of shoes on them. The sand is way too hot. It gets to be 150 degrees, which means you also need to bring your tennis shoes because this is not sandal sandal action. So if you're bringing your dogs, protect your dog's feet and protect your own because it's hot out here. <laughs> All right guys, I don't know if you noticed until now, but footage has been really smooth because I got a gimbal. So hopefully that makes a difference. Let me know down below if you guys think the quality changed because so far I'm really impressed filming, but yeah, just let me know. I think we are done for the day. So that's a wrap on the sand dunes. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys liked it and I hope you liked steady your footage. But yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, turn on the, no turn on the notification bell and share. Did I say that? <laughs> and do all that good stuff before you head out. But blah, blah, blah. And do all that good stuff before you head out. Really hope you guys like that. Um, see you next time though. Bye.